here's what's going on today we're with Kawasaki we're at an intro and we're checking out the brand new Mule Pro MX this is a 700 cc unit and it's kind of a mid-level unit not small not big but a mid-level and we're gonna take it out and see what it's all about all kind of cool stuff on this features benefits and we're gonna test them out throughout the day and keep you posted so come on along for the ride it's gonna be a good time once this uh, haze all burns off here in this fog that we're in here today we're at a beautiful vineyard and we've got like 25,000 acres here to ride today it is gonna be awesome come on along Tell you what, I'm all flustered here. I forgot my goggles. I forgot my gloves. They're back at the hotel. Does me no good here. I put my glasses on and I got like all kind of dust in my face. pit area is nice and wide open the instrument panel is easy to read and one thing that's different about this machine that I don't see in a lot of machines is how far over the instrument panel is and it's kind of angled so you can look over glance over and see it easily and you can see all your instruments two-wheel drive four-wheel drive gas and then also if you want diff lock you got the unlock the rear you got the lock the rear and it tells you if you're in diff lock in the rear now this doesn't have a front diff lock but you have rear diff lock so if you're doing like this this would be like turf mode you would unlock that if you're doing a lot of work around your property you don't want to tear your grass up you would just unlock that and then if you really wanted to get down and dirty you could hit the diff lock and then hit four-wheel drive and you can see here you're engaged and you're ready to go checking out some storage here so we've been cruising and it's been pretty dusty if you look in there there's no dust there is a drain hole so I would say there's a couple drain holes I would say it's not waterproof but so far uh, there's no dust in there and it's been pretty dusty that's 2.4 gallons of storage and right now we got to get going visual on the front of this machine is great. I mean, it's amazing because you can see everything right in front of you and you don't feel like you're setting real high. You know, some machines you just feel like you're setting up on top of it and you feel top heavy, but this doesn't feel top heavy. It doesn't feel like it's going to lean or like out of control and you can really see the front is kind of like a short choppy nose um, so you can see out over and kind of see your obstacle and what you're dealing with. And one thing I really like about this is the full doors. They're, they're like half doors, but that is awesome. I would recommend any side-by-side -side manufacturer out there to make sure they make these half doors like this because, you know, I mean, I had a Defender uh, for a long time, and the nets just, they ain't cutting it. They suck. You know, you got to have doors like this. They're nice, easy in, easy out, and you got to make easy on the driver to reach all your functions and to see all your stuff um, even like your emergency brake right here this emergency brake pull it out like that and the reason they do that is if we were coming up a real steep hill and I put it in park there's tension on that transmission in park so when I get in it and I go to take off I have to really like work that transmission to get it back into gear with this if we're on a real steep hill I just put my foot on the brake pull out turn it and drop it in and there's no tension and there's no binding on the transmission we're still in high 
uh, but the parking brake does all the work to hold the machine. So it's two separate components that makes it a whole lot easier for the driver. This is something you don't see very often, a locking glove box. Like there it's open, put your key in, you're going in somewhere, you're at a trail system and you want to go in and have some dinner, put your stuff in there and lock it up, nobody can get into it. Alright baby, we dropped her in four low doing some mountain climbing. engine braking does a good job of holding you back going down steep hills right now we're in four low so we're testing out torque transmission engine braking power all that stuff The ride's coming to an end. We're going back here to where we had lunch and everything at this uh, pavilion, this building, and I would have liked to really got this thing out and tested it on our own today. We just didn't get a chance to do that. So I guess we're gonna have to get our own and put it to the test. There's a lot of things I like, but there's things I don't really know, like how does it handle on rough terrain? I know that, you know, I'd like to see more power. I'd like to see more speed, but that's everybody out there. You know, it's a mid-sized machine not a full-blown big bore machine so you're gonna top out at 45 miles an hour I mean it's got plenty of power to do what you want it to but you know if you're looking for a lot of speed you know this isn't the machine So we've been here in Central California today with Kawasaki and we've been checking out the new 2019 Mule Pro MX and it's a mid-size machine. It's not the smallest that they have and it's not the biggest that they have. It's a 700cc 60 inch wide machine. It's a two passenger machine and it's got a lot of benefits and features that you can use if you're going to use it for working and I would say my personal opinion is maybe light trail riding. The, tr the trail riding, the stuff that we did here today Day. really wasn't extreme and it wasn't rough it wasn't off camera so we really didn't get a chance to test it out on a lot of that uh, kind of natural trail conditions everything we were on here was pretty smooth um, you know so we didn't really get a chance to put it through its paces one thing you'll notice about this machine is it kind of has a, a snub nose so that way when you're in your driver's seat or the passenger seat you can see what's going on in front of you you're not kind of guessing what's over the hood or you know what you're gonna come up across so being able to see as a driver you know that's real important you've got uh, two different styles of headlights here you have LEDs and uh, uh, halogen bulbs and if you want to they have an option where you can replace your halogens with the LEDs so you've got even better lighting but you know it's pretty cool they give you that feature for the LED and the halogen and then uh, well another thing let me show you while we're up front here before we get too far is it has storage here in the front and this is just one of the storage places and it actually does pretty good because we've been riding all day and it's been really dusty and there's no dust under there now I wouldn't say it's waterproof because there is holes there's drainage holes so I wouldn't put a you know valuables in here that you don't want getting wet because they will definitely get wet and then you can also get to your other stuff up here some of your fluids and your antifreeze as far as driver and passenger comfort, uh, one thing you'll notice getting into this is they have what's uh, like a half door, but this door is really important and it keeps your legs in. And the nice thing about this door is it opens and it shuts. Uh, I know some of the other manufacturers have nets, hate the nets, they stink. I don't even know why they would do that. If you're gonna make a machine like this, put a quality door on it like that. That way, you know, you stay protected and then you just open it and shut it. And the easy in and easy out on this machine is really nice. Uh, they were saying they've had people getting here with size 15 shoes and they had no problem getting in. And yesterday Steve Austin was here and he got in and out with no problem. And he's a big fella. He's like 6'1", 6'2", and he jumped right in and out with no problem at all. And another nice thing is you have a tilt steering wheel so that way you can get in and out a lot easier. And then once you're in, you can pull it down. 
your instrument panel everything is right here over here's your gauges and then here's your automotive style shifter you have low high neutral reverse and then something else that's different about this machine as opposed to some of the other manufactured machines is it has a pool handle emergency brake now you might look at that and be like oh man that's kind of old school that reminds me of an old car or something but the benefit to this is when you're on a real steep hill you don't have park in your transmission so when you put it in park on a real steep hill you you're binding that transmission up and when you go to take it out of park you can feel it release and it clunks but you don't have that with this machine you can stay in high and you pull that emergency brake so when you're on a real steep hill all you have to do is put your foot on the brake pull out on this and turn it and it goes in the whole way and then you're still in high there's no transmission clunking there's no uh, strain on the transmission from sitting on a hill like that so that's a really cool feature and it's easy to use and whenever you look down you don't forget about it because it's a big brake handle sticking out so that way you don't take off with the brakes on and then over here we have some instrument gauges we have our uh, selection buttons we have for our lights you know you have high beam low beam for both sets you have two wheel drive four wheel drive and then you have a diff lock mode and it tells you here you can see I don't know if you can see that orange light right there that shows you you're in diff lock and then over here on your gauge it actually tells you diff and then your uh, power steering you have your EPS and here's your parking brake your seatbelt lights there's a couple other lights there temperature gauge and I'm not sure what that one is but it has plenty of gauges on the dash to tell you if something's going wrong but if you're uh, looking to do turf mode like if you have grass and you're using it for lawn or landscaping around your property you don't want to tear anything up you just reach up and pop that uh, unlock lock button for your rear end your diff and it has one wheel drive so that way you don't tear anything up so that's a really good feature and I know a lot of people that have that that use it for work around their property and you'll notice with this bench seat here it has a hump in the middle and it has a hump over here and what that does is help to keep the driver and the passenger in their seats they don't slide back and forth or bounce around and the seats are actually pretty cushy they do a really good job and uh, under the seat we have your battery there's a storage compartment now we have a fire extinguisher in ours because you know it's the dry season it's the fire season out here in California so we just want to make sure everybody was prepared in case one of the machines you know caused a fire or we saw a fire we had a fire extinguisher and we were ready so you have everything underneath your seat there and something else that's really nice that a lot of times when you're getting in a vehicle it might be dark or you might have a, a heavier coat on and you're trying to find that seat belt and you can't find it to save your life and you almost and especially with a helmet on you can't see it but with this seat belt here it sticks up so far that all you do is reach over and pop it in and it's not a real stiff hard seat belt it's going to be jamming you in the side all day long so they did a nice job with that as far as putting the seat belt where you can see it and then it also has the limiter on here you'll see the limiter wire uh, it's probably I would imagine 10 mile an hour or something like that 8 or 10 mile an hour if you don't have your seat belt in you're gonna get the rev limiter and you aren't gonna be able to go over 8 or 10 miles an hour as far as handling it did a really good job it has power steering and when you're out there you don't notice any uh, difficulty in the steering at all and the way it's designed and it's set up is at your lower speeds you're gonna have more assist and at your higher speeds you're gonna have less assist so you don't feel like you're out of control and you feel like the machines floating on you so it's kind of variable so it'll adjust with the speed of the machine which makes a big difference when you're out there on a trail ride all day long we didn't really get a chance to try it out on rough train I would have liked to gotten it on some really rough stuff we hit a couple bumps and a couple you know places where you know I mean it wasn't crazy or nothing but it was a little bit uh, off camber or maybe a washout but I really would like to test it on something you know comparable to like the Hatfield McCoy trail and see how that suspension does you know they say it rides good but until we get it out there and try it out we just don't know so I can't say for sure that this would be a great work slash play machine it might be you know 80 percent work you know i don't know but as far as i'm concerned it would be a great machine to use around your farm your property and if you wanted to do light trail riding with it it'd be good for that but you know for someone that wants to get in and get out and ease of use and it's super quiet and we didn't get any cab heat at all and it's about 90 some degrees here in california today and we had zero cab heat and it was so quiet that uh, melissa and i with our helmets on we could talk
and it was it was nice you know it wasn't like we had to yell at each other so that's a really good thing about this machine and something that I really like in a machine is not a lot of cab heat and a nice quiet engine and down here on the floor you'll notice that they have diamond plate this is steel you know it's metal so that way you don't have a stick coming up through it's not a plastic floorboard and uh, you don't have to worry about any sticks coming up through and putting a hole in your floorboard and they also used it in the bed and uh, this bed has a 700 pound cargo capacity so it's it's a nice big bed and it's also sloped so that way if you get water on here it's gonna run right down the bed it's not gonna lay in the bed and rust so that way you don't have to worry about any of that stuff so it makes it easier to clean out and uh, you know that's just a nice feature and then they also have a lot of tie downs they have six tie downs in this bed that you can access really easily and that's something that a lot of the customers were asking for was more tie downs because we're taking more and more stuff with us we're taking coolers and cooking stuff and tents and who knows what else everybody's taking out there on the trail system let alone you know farmers ranchers hunters what they put in the back when they go out into the field something else that I really like about this machine is it comes with a standard headache rack so that way you don't have to worry about if you're hauling cargo hay bales wood you know brush anything like that you don't have to worry about it coming up through into the cab into you and the passenger and that's a really nice feature and I'd love to see all the manufacturers go to this feature because that's definitely nice and it's also kind of like an accessory rack you could put gun racks on here bow rack you could put lights you could put all kind of cool stuff on here so it's really nice that they have that Back here in the back, the A-arms are just big. They're monstrous. And even the subframe and the frame, everything is big. It's overbuilt. And the nice thing about this Kawasaki, um, you know, it just, it's it's beefy. It's, it's heavy duty. Uh, the Kawasaki comes with a three-year warranty. And most of your machines on the market don't come with a bumper-to-bumper three-year warranty. And uh, that's pretty important. And that says something because... Uh, they obviously aren't fixing a lot of machines all the time because they would never be able to afford to do that So they build a heavy-duty machine that it may not be the fastest machine on the market It may not even be the best riding machine on the market But when it comes to reliability and overbuilding them and making them, you know, so that they last over time, you know, Kawasaki does a really good job of that. I have a good friend of mine, uh, Antone, who has Kipu Ranch, and he does uh, guided tours on the island of Kauai in Hawaii, and he only uses Kawasaki's, and he'll use these here, and uh, he'll put 7,000 to 10,000 miles on them on uh, rental units so you know that's saying something when you can talk to a rental company and he said that's the only thing I can get that'll stand up you know to all the people coming in and renting them so you know that's saying something for Kawasaki but if you look at the back here I mean everything is, is just overbuilt you know even the the receiver you know a two inch receiver and then they got the place to hook your chains on here for your trailer because a lot of guys like to use this you know for working so they'll hook a trailer up to this and hook their chains up and uh, it's it's just all there and it's it's a good quality build some stuff you look at you can see it just looks all cheesy and it's like held together with bubble gum or you know the first thing you clip with it you're gonna break it and you definitely don't see that on on this machine here in the front in the rear it's heavy built all the way around the mule pro mx also has disc brakes all the way around and the engine braking is really good some machines you get in the engine braking is too hard and it really holds you back and if you have it in two-wheel drive it'll almost spin you all the way around if it's wet and with the kawasaki mule pro mx we didn't have that we had good engine braking i put it in uh four high four low two-wheel drive just to see what it would do and it didn't get away from us at all and uh, of course you're going to have better engine braking if you have it in four low but you know the all-around disc brakes makes a big difference and they don't squeak that's something that some of the other side-by-sides on the market the brakes squeak after a while and these brakes didn't squeak at all you didn't even know you were hitting the brakes Kawasaki is known for using a two-handle tailgate and like on the Terex it's a sloppy handle you put it down it clangs it bangs it makes a lot of noise I'm not a big fan of that but this one is actually a little bit better because you can shut them and lock them in like that so if you are hunting or you know you're doing some work and you just don't want the handles hanging there slopping around you can lock them in place and then when you go to put this up in here you just push it in like that and it's done it's not a lot of noise not a lot of hassle to get it done I still would like something with one hand capability because if I got stuff in both my hands or you know one of my hands you know it's just too difficult to use all this but this style is better than what's on the Terex 
and you know honestly this is just a real quick review uh, we're gonna get one of our own and we're gonna try it out and test it and give it some more seat time I hate to do a review on something right away when I don't get a lot of seat time in it because over a period of time I kind of adjust to how it rides and how it handles and then I start to notice certain things that I like better or maybe something that I don't really care for that I didn't notice at first so this is a real quick review just touching on some of the basics of the Kawasaki Mule Pro MX but overall I mean it seems like a really good machine it's well built definitely overbuilt and in my opinion man that three-year warranty it's tough to beat that 